Hello beauties and welcome to another video. I'm Jessica from Jessing Things Up and today we're doing a primer review. Here we have the FMG Cashmere Eyelash Primer. So this came out a little while ago before my vacation. I think I used an eyelash primer like over a decade ago <laughs> before Avon, my pre-Avon days. Actually, no, not, not true, not completely true. I think Avon actually had an eyelash primer when I first started selling Avon, I used it then, and then I think I stopped. Yeah, because actually before Avon, I didn't use that much makeup except for performances. So I figured it was high time that we try this out to see what it does to my lashes, how lush it makes them, how yummy it makes them, and whether or not it makes them extra stiff. So this product here is part of our FMG Cashmere line, and what it's supposed to do is supposed to help maximize the performance of your mascara by prepping your lashes with its three-in-one power. It's supposed to sculpt, define, and nourish your lashes for added length, volume, and protection, and care for healthy and strong appearances. It is supposed to go on matte white, but then when it dries, it becomes clear, and then it is formulated with biotin, vegan collagen, and carnauba wax. So yes, that is right. This is a vegan product, so for all of our vegan vegan beauty lovers out there, this might be a great product for you to try. The Canuba Wax in it also, according to the real milk plant, Co. Um, it also uh, applies a thin layer of protection to skin and hair because of its emollient properties and it works well for most people due to its hypoallergenic nature. So it, this is also supposed to be good for uh, sensitive eyes and also people who are contact lens where it is ophthalmologist tested. I think I'm saying that wrong. Oth ophthalmologically tested. <laughs> Tongue is swelling because I have no idea how to pronounce that word. According to Avon, this is also good for anybody who is looking for more definition on the lashes as well as to like increase the <laughs> of their mascara product. With that said, let's open this beautiful product up. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do one on each eye. I'm going to apply it on one side and I'm going to let it dry so you can see how it goes from the matte white to the clear. But during that time frame, I'm going to mascara my other eye so that we and then apply mascara on the eye with the primer. And then we could really compare to see is there really a difference or is it all in my head? We'll find out. I'm, I'm pretty confident that you'll definitely see some sort of difference, but I'm also curious to see if it's going to weigh down my lashes and also if it's going to make my lashes more stiff. So I did notice that there are a few other ingredients in here that's not listed as a key ingredient on our website, but I'm going to list those here. And if you want to do more research on it, Google's our best friend. All right, let's open this beauty up. All right, eyelash primer. So nicely packaging, very similar style of packaging to the mascara, like the fact that it has a gold band, it'll make it easy for me to see if I don't have my glasses on, whether this is the primer or if this is the mascara without having to squint and create more wrinkles. So I just have to remember that and I have no memory. <laughs> so, but anyways, at least there's something. I love the packaging, the black, the gold, very lush, very luxurious. I really love that color combination. And so let's see what the wand is like. Ta -da! So it's a nice dense brush like so and it is already covered with products so there's no skipping on the products here all right let's give this a snifferoo you can definitely smell the product so it's not fragrance free but there's no added fragrance to it does it smell exactly like this yeah, it smells very, very similar to the mascara. And I did remember saying that I there's you can definitely smell the product. Let's get right into it. Let's give this a shot, give this a go. We're going to apply it to the one side and go from there. Let's apply it on my right eye. I'm only gonna do the upper lash. You know what, I'm gonna do up, yeah, I'm only gonna do the upper lashes because I very rarely ever do my lower lashes. All right, so there's that. That's basically how I would apply mascara. Now we're gonna wait for this to dry. It feels very lightweight. Like so far it doesn't feel like it's weighing down my lashes at all. And so you can see there's a little bit of white and it should end up drying clear. So while that happens, we're gonna do this side. So my lashes naturally, they feel very relaxed, very soft. Um, I did already curl my lashes, but let's do some mascara. I'm only going to do one coat on each side because typically that is how I do my mascara. This wand always gets me. 
All right, so so far we have mascara on one side and just the primer on the other. Take a look to see if it's dried yet, and we'll know that's dry if it's clear. I wonder if I can curl my lashes again afterwards because so far what I did notice is that automatically it already made my lashes straighter. So it has <laughs> taken the curl out of my lash. Considering a lash lift, guys, because I have extremely straight lashes. Like I'm not even kidding with you, but they're so straight all the time. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to let this dry completely. And then after it dries completely, I'm gonna try to just to curl the back part just a smidge and see if that helps. Kind of worked. Also took off some of my liner. Gotta fix that. Okay, so the curling didn't really overly work too well. Not as if it's I have a naked lash. But that's okay. We're gonna try the mascara and let's just see lushless wise what difference does it make. So applying once again my FMG Cashmere mascara. Alright, it's been about a minute and I believe they're both dry. Yeah, they're both dry. So let's see first off how soft my lashes are. I think that because there are two layers of products in it, it's definitely a little bit stiffer, so it's not as not quite as soft as the side with just mascara, that's one. The second thing is, if I'm looking at the results itself, I do notice that the lashes do appear thicker, and I, I, I'm assuming that's what they mean by the whole lush of the lashes. They, it looks like that there's definitely more volume. I'm going to move us over to the window so you can see a more natural light in a second, but this is the side with the primer. And then this is the side with just the mascara. Yeah. So that it does deliver on results. Now, once I, I, I recurled it, it gave a little bit more lift, which is what I like. And so it's pretty much on par the same as the side with just the mascara. So that's good. At first I was worried, like, oh, it's gonna make my lashes look stick straight. It's not gonna work, but now it's not so bad. I think that the side with just mascara does have a smidge more lift, but overall, I'm happy with the results of it being, of my lashes looking like they have more volume. I also like the fact that it is one of those products that is good for, um, it makes you look good, but also is good for you with the biotin, the vegan collagen, and also the wax. I do like the fact that it's going to nourish my lashes, which is something I'm always looking for because I don't have a lot of lashes, so I want to take care of them as much as possible. Overall, would I use this product again? I will use it again. However, I think what I would do is I would prime my lashes first before doing the rest of my eye makeup because it does take a little bit of extra time for it to dry. And when I was curling my lashes for the second time, it took off a little bit of my liner. Now, it could also be because of the type of liner that I'm using and the type of eyeshadow that I'm using today that's why it came off on my curler um, and if you don't tend to need to curl your lashes then that's not going to be an issue for you it's just I have very 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 straight lashes it does take a little bit more time to get ready so again I'll just have to figure out my order of how I do my makeup to make it fit in my time frame of how much time I like to use to get ready. So it's just just kind of changing some habits. So you're here in a garage door. Overall, I am happy with the results. I would use again for sure. It's not causing my eyes to feel tired, stinging, straining, or anything right now, as some products can sometimes cause my eyes to do that, because I have noticed that my eyes have become more and more sensitive over the years. I don't have my contact lenses in right now, but the fact that it is safe for contact lens wearers is definitely an added bonus. If you're interested in learning more about this product make sure you do go to the link in the description box below and if you have any questions about this product make sure you do leave it in the comment section I will answer it as soon as I possibly can if you have a product suggestion also drop it in the comments I'm always looking for suggestions on things to try and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave this video a big fat thumbs up and until next time guys stay well stay safe and stay fantastically kind I love you